Aida for suing my girlfriend after she had my 1967 Impala project taken to the scrapyard? I'll try to keep this short. I had a 1967 Impala 4-door that I bought in February 2019. A couple months ago I bought my first house that had a 2.5 car garage. I moved the car in and started tearing it down for a complete restoration. I had the body in one bay and the chassis in another, plus the whole garage filled with parts. About two months ago my girlfriend came to live with me during this whole crisis and the whole time has hated that car. She wants to park in the garage but I have two acres of land with a lot of nice places to park under shady trees or hell even in the barn if it has to be inside. I tell her tough luck it's my house and it's not like I can just throw it back together real quick. Anyways I was out of town for a couple days on a business trip for the small local company I work for. When I got back, my girlfriend was all smiles. Making me food all the time, doing all the chores, all that. I know maybe she just was happy to have me home but then I realized that I didn't see her car in its usual spot. I asked her where she parked so I could make sure I mow that area and keep it clean and she said not to worry because she parked in the garage. I asked how and she told me to go check it out. Turns out that while I was gone she hired some people to come over and move everything related to that car, including the drivetrain, body, and chassis and all parts, and take it to the local dump, scrapyard. I was absolutely dumbfounded. I had spent over 11k on that car including new parts, services, and the car itself. I told her that I was going to be taking her to court for that and she brushed me off like I was being dramatic. I told her that it's done between us and to pack her things and leave. I admit I was a really angry but I did end up getting a lawyer. And as I have all the receipts for all that money spent and I have her on my house's security cam footage letting the guys in and watching them take it all I think I can win. Her family and friends are absolutely blowing me up saying it's just a stupid old piece of junk and that she cannot pay back all that money I spent, and that I should just let it go. But I have been putting all my time, effort, and money into that car for a year and a half now and goddammit if I am not going to get justice for what she did. Aita. Edit. Thank you all so much for the support and awards and everything. I'm glad I have some people on my side. I got a call from her mom about 20 minutes ago and she told me that I was ruining her daughter's life over a stupid car. I told her she ruined her own life. I've been gathering documentation and stuff and I'm about to head down to the police station and file a report, as suggested by lots here. Once again thank you all. Update. Went to the police station last night, was told to come back in the morning. Just got back and filed an official report against her for grand larceny and grand theft auto. I showed them all the receipts I had for the car and the footage of her letting the guys come and take it as well as the title for the vehicle in my name. They said they will be in contact with all three parties, me, XGF, and junkyard guys, soon and they will hopefully be able to recover some or all of the car. Just have to wait now. Huge update, they found my goddamn car. The junkyard guys apparently were in the middle of hiding it when the police came to ask them questions. It was on a forklift and they were gonna put it on top of a pile of cars that was hidden behind more piles of cars. They said it was theirs and they had the title, but obviously didn't have the title for it and since they matched the VIN on the chassis and body to the VIN on my title, it was obviously mine. I know at least one person there has been arrested, I think he was in the camera footage I talked about earlier but IDK if it was the boss or whomever or even his specific charge, they also told me they would be looking into this specific junkyard for any other vehicles reported stolen. They said they haven't been able to get in contact with my ex just yet but they're working on it. I am just so glad they found my car. Luckily I made quite an album of pictures detailing me tearing down the car and so I can use that to prove what parts they had were mine so I can hopefully get most or all of it back. Police haven't let me take it back home yet as they say it is evidence or something so hopefully I can get it back eventually. Thank you all so much for the support and advice. She's gonna be alright.